Hey guys, Brett Kelly here, 45 Drives. So today we're in the lab and I wanted to show you something we've been working on lately. Clustering of our Storinator storage pods. So here I have four Storinator XL60s, all set up in a replicated cluster uh, that I built using GlusterFS and ZFS. So what I want to show off to you guys today is how resilient the combination of GlusterFS and ZFS really is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a file transfer from my cluster to a client and I'm just going to start fa simulating failure of various components to try to bring the volume down. So I'm going to pull out Ethernet cores to simulate neck failure. I'm going to pull out some drives, simulate drive failure, and I'll even just fail a node, turn a couple of them off, and uh, we'll, we'll try to bring the volume down. Quick little background on my network setup. I have all four storinators turned into a 10 gigabit switch, so they can all talk to each other at 10 GB speeds, and that is tied into our existing lab network at 1 GB. So my client will only see speeds 111 to 120 megabytes. So uh, let's get started. So we'll drag this over here. So this is my mounted cluster. As you can see, it's 705 terabytes. It's a distributed replica. Distributed replica. So now I'm just going to go behind and start pulling Ethernet cords out. Oh, got one here. Got another one. We got another one. So let's see. Yep, <laughs> still going. So uh, the NIC backup works. Uh, what's next? You know what? Let's just turn one of them off. So I'll remote into number two. I'll say shut down now. So you can see it closed. So she stopped. And here's my configuration. Oh yeah, she's off. So here you go, you can see that cluster two is down, but our transfer is still chugging along, no problem. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, what's next? Let's turn off another one. Now, due to my configuration, I can do this as well. I just shut down the fourth one as well. So it's about to go, and it's off now too. And our transfer is still chugging along at full line speed. Pretty awesome. So what's next? Let's fail a drive. Come over to this guy. Pop the lid off him. Uh, pull this guy out, softly, pull this one out, pull this guy out, that should be good, three, three should do it, let's see if we're still up and running. So the file transfer's still going, that's good. Oh, and you can see Gluster 1's degraded. So we have failed two of four servers. We have failed disks in one of the remaining server, and our transfer is still going. So let's fail some more. So just out of laziness, I'm only going to pull one this time. Ah, eh, why not? We'll do two. And what do we got here? Still chugging along. Let's see if it registered. There it goes, degraded. So I have failed disks in two of the pods, straight up turned off two of the other ones, yet the volume is still available and still chugging along at full speed. Glusterfest, CFS is pretty awesome. That's pretty much it.